I am Deborah Medina and I'm running for governor of Texas. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the exciting history of our great state. Not long ago, the state of Texas was a territory of Mexico. It was a wild and beautiful land, abundant with resources for the people who would tame it. The Mexican government invited settlers and come they did. Noah Smithwick, a German immigrant, said that Texas was heaven for men and dogs and hell for women and oxen. The Mexican government gave settlers in Gonzales a small cannon to protect themselves and their property from invasion. The Texas settlers became strong and independent, so General Santa Ana of the Mexican Army issued orders to seize the cannon. When he sent troops to confiscate that gun, the Texans of Gonzales ran a flag up that mission flagpole that dared the huge Mexican army to come and take it. That day, the small band of Texans chased the Mexican troops back across the Guadalupe River. We now remember the Battle of Gonzales as the Lexington of Texas, as it was the first in the battle for Texas independence. That day was October 2nd, 1835. The settlers of Gonzales understood that private property ownership and the right to bear arms are essential to being a free and independent people. The same is true today. The constitutional right of Texans to own property is being threatened by ever-increasing property taxes and eminent domain. The right to own guns is being endangered by not only our own federal government, but also by a foreign government called the United Nations. The people of Texas have always been known for their tough and independent attitude. I'm proud to say that my great-great-grandfather, who fought in the first Texas Revolution, passed that independent attitude down to me. I stand ready to defend freedom in Texas, and I'm asking you to stand with me by voting on March 2nd, 2010 in the Republican primary. I'm Deborah Medina and I love Texas.